we are going to be wholesaling dirt cheap properties remotely folks i'm talking some of the cheapest real estate in the world real estate we could pick up for pennies let's go This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show. I am James Wise, and I am here to help you get your real estate career started, wholesaling real estate, right? Today, I'm working with a client named Brian, and I'm helping Brian wholesale some deals. We're going to partner on these deals, right? Brian, you're going to buy the property. I will find you an end buyer. I will come up with the ARV. I will use my vast network, right? I've had over 12 million people view my show, folks. If you think you can start wholesaling and you could have a buyer list, a buyer uh, you know, exposure to buyers like I do, you're crazy. Not only do I have Holton Weiss TV, I'm also a licensed real estate broker and I've sold $200 million worth of stuff, right? And all of this is incredibly important and it's incredibly important that we find the cheapest real estate ever because, Brian, you're starting out wholesaling without a lot of money. Now, some of you might be like, whoa, why does Brian need money? You don't need money to wholesale. That is a lie! That is a lie! That is the most dangerous lie that other gurus teach you guys. They teach you you can just put a contract, a property under contract, and then you could assign it to another buyer. Number one, that shit rarely fucking works. That is a fucking garbage business plan. Very rarely does it work. The only time that piece of shit business plan makes money is when you're selling the guru course to somebody like you who doesn't know what they're doing, right? So if you've never invested, never wholesaled, and you think that somebody's talking you into a plan that involves you assigning properties, that's fucking trash. The only money to be made is the money you pay them to teach you that stuff. Number two, that's illegal. It's not even legal, folks. Wholesaling should be. It is actually buy low, sell high. That involves you actually buying the property. Connecting a buyer and a seller together to collect an assignment fee. Do you know what that is? It's brokering real estate. If you're not a licensed real estate broker, you cannot broker real estate. Why do you think we have licenses, folks? That is illegal. So not only are you going to lose your money, you could get yourself in a lot of trouble. That's why people like Brian come to me because I find the cheapest markets out there so we can wholesale deals remotely you do not need to live there i do probably like 80 percent of the work right you just got to buy the property and that's why i'm finding you dirt cheap real estate today's investment we should be able to pick this property up for three thousand dollars and if you are not able to scrounge together three grand by driving uber or saving your pennies or doing this you're not ready to start wholesaling Get out there, work harder, save that money. Come back to me, folks. Let's get into the numbers on how this wholesale deal is going to work for you, Brian, right after this. Man, I hate those other real estate gurus out there. Those real estate gurus that lead you guys to believe fairy tales, lead you guys to believe in magic, lead you guys to think that there's going to be genies granting your wishes if you buy their course or their program. Like there's going to be hot girls in bikinis just popping out. That's not the real life of a real estate investor. And here on Holton Wise TV, we give it to you straight. Welcome back. We're going to pull up this property, folks. And this is a dirt cheap property. But it don't look dirt cheap, right? But it should be dirt cheap, right? Here's the thing. It's been on the market for 42 days. Price, $45,000. This seller is out of their freaking mind and that is going to help us right look at this property it's freaking toasted right it's totally destroyed that is uh where the front porch used to be folks this is a toasted property this thing is jizzacked beyond belief okay it's totally messed up but if we are wholesaling real estate folks we want the property to be messed up right Ooh, look at all that water damage love it Makes me happy. I don't know the point of this picture. I don't know what the real estate agent did here. Why did they take a picture of that outlet? I have no freaking clue. Uh, but it's jacked up, right? So the property's jacked up, right? That's good for us. The address, 12518 Lock Ave, Cleveland 44108. That is the ghetto. That is the ghetto of Cleveland. That is like a serious, this is a fucking ghetto-ass neighborhood, right? Crime, 
low housing prices, all horrible, right? That's good. That's money for us. We want the property to be jacked up. We want the property to be in a rough neighborhood. That allows us to pick these things up for pennies, right? Here's the thing. When you're trying to wholesale real estate, you have to make your money on the buy. You don't make your money on the sale. You make your money on the buy, folks. The, the worth of the property is the worth of the property. What this property being sold by a professional, i.e. me, the value of this property is about seventeen grand. I can sell this for about $17,000. That should be what I can sell it for. I know the neighborhood. I know the type of buyers that are going to buy this thing, right? I sold $200 million worth of properties just like this in the Cleveland market, folks. And you're looking at properties where my typical closing is less than a hundred grand. So if you could do your math, how many hundred thousand dollar sales do you need to get to two hundred million? Right? Bust out your calculators. A lot. I know what I'm doing. Right? I run the largest property management company of its type in the Cleveland market. So I know what I can do. I know I can sell this to investors. My type of investor would be a lot of people uh, that are doing localized work. They're able to do the construction themselves, right? Because you take some people that would want to try to pitch this to out-of-state investors, probably wouldn't work because out-of-state investors have to hire third-party construction companies. And then by the time they actually did the full rehab, they might be all in underwater, right? So you got to price it right to sell it to the people and you got to sell it to the right people, right? And that price is 17. So that's where we need to make our money by getting it less than 17, quite a bit less, okay? And that, that is the cusp of how this all works. How can we get this for way less than 17 when they want 45? And the very fact that they want 45 is what's going to help us, right? These people are dumb, <laughs> just straight up dumb. They are wasting their time. They're wasting the realtor's time. There is no human being in this world that would pay $45,000 for this property. Had they priced it appropriately around $17,000, they would probably be facing some traction right now and think that they're going to get a sale done. But the fact that they doubled up, more than double really, what is it, 17, it's like 36, they almost tripled the price, okay? And what that does is that makes nobody talk to them, that makes nobody interested. It sits on the market longer and longer and longer. And then the seller starts to realize, oh, maybe I screwed up. Maybe my house really isn't worth what it's worth, right? And that's where we come in with our incredible lowball offer because time is starting to eat away at their confidence and they're starting to think, oh man, my property's in the ghetto. It's totally destroyed. I'm never going to sell this. Not to mention, they're still paying taxes. They should be paying insurance because that motherfucker is a hazard, right? That thing is nothing but a liability, right? You want it to be jacked up because every day they own this property is a day they lose money. There's no revenue that can be generated on this property, right? So it's just a daily uh, hassle for them, right? And the longer that goes, it beats down on their confidence. The longer nobody makes an offer, they start to think, I'll never be able to sell it. And that's when we finally come in with our super lowball offer, $3,000. Yeah, three grand. We want to buy it at three. Closing cost will be all in for four grand. When I sell it at 17, I'm going to take a $5,000 commission for my work. And then you should make a seven thousand dollar profit folks a seven thousand dollar profit right so you buy it at three plus your closing costs you're all in at four and then when i sell it at 17 your total cost to sell it are going to be nine thousand nine hundred ninety five leaving you with a seven thousand dollar profit that's all you gotta do right you just buy the sucker three grand what we're gonna do this is why we're so much better uh, than all those other folks that are failing and uh, falling for these guru tactics where they teach you you don't actually have to buy the property. You just put it under contract, and then you can assign it. Number one, that's illegal, right? Totally illegal. You don't want to go to jail. Uh, you wouldn't go to jail. You, you would face civil fines, though, right? I've seen uh, people in Ohio uh, get civil fines as high as like $872,000. I've seen the Division of Real Estate report fines issued to people for acting, uh, brokering real estate without a license. I've seen an $872,000 fine before, right? So that shit is very real. Don't listen to the gurus telling you it's not. That's number one. Number two, getting an offer accepted, folks. 
the best chance we have at getting a three thousand dollar offer accepted is if it's cash no questions asked when you start putting all those get out of jail free cards those uh weasel clauses that wholesalers talk to you guys about right uh contingent on inspection inspect what i look, look inspect what what are we going to inspect there's no lock box there's no fucking door what is there to inspect what is your inspector going to say i'll do your inspection right now hey bro this house is fucked everything's broke what is there to inspect right don't fucking dick around with these sellers, dude. They know that an inspection is just a weasel clause. We're coming in cash, non-refundable. We'll put up the whole 3000 as earnest money right there. Yo, seven days, you're done. You're out of this property. People don't want to deal with those weasel clauses. Another weasel clause is uh, oh, contingent on my partner's approval. Partner's approval for what? It's a fucking $3,000 offer, bro. Like, fuck. Three grand. That's like nothing. That's no money. What are you, you buying it or you're not, right? So. That is our best shot. We got to come in cash, no questions asked. That's why we don't mess around with that guru crap outside of the fact that it's illegal as all hell, and I'm sure you don't want to get fined. I don't want to get fined. So that is the move, and guess what? They maybe take it, they maybe don't take it, but you know what also happens? When they're at a crazy high price like this, $45,000, 42 days on the market, they may not take it, but you know what? Another 90 days on the market because there's no human being in the world that's going to buy this for $45,000. 90 days on the market, they might come back to us like, hey, you still going to give us 3K? We're, we're, our confidence has been destroyed. We don't want to deal with it. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe three more months down the road. Another three months, right? These are the kind of offers that we got to just shoot out there, right? It's like fishing, dude. You need to put a whole bunch of lines in the water, and oftentimes people may come back to you later, okay? Is it a guarantee I get this $3,000 offer accepted for you? No, but that's wholesaling, folks. Don't listen to the gurus. Part of wholesaling is just getting out as many offers as you can. But, folks, you need to understand that if somebody actually accepts your offer, your offer will make you money. And that's, of course, what I'm here for because I'm the guy who understands what our true ARV is, right? I'm sure everybody out there who's uh, done any type of real estate has seen all those dipshits on Craigslist or email blasting you guys spamming out there like, duh, duh, this property available for 10 grand. It needs 5K in rehab, ARV 100K. And then you look at it and you're like, no, the ARV is like, 15k and it needs like 50k rehab right you get all those wholesalers that literally have no fucking clue what they're doing y'all ain't gonna be doing that because your partner and me we're gonna actually provide people with actual deals right getting out a ton of offers knowing those offers are actually gonna make you money if and when they do get accepted that's how you actually wholesale real estate that's how you make money right the gurus they don't care about you making money. They just want you to buy their course. Let's go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.